Apple released iOS 26.1 Beta 3, here's everything new so far. Within our settings, down under Privacy and Security, if we scroll to the bottom, with Beta 2, Apple added background security improvements. However, this time around, now that Beta 3 is installed, we can remove and restart. So hopefully we'll be able to do this with future updates if they're not going as well, easily remove and restart without using a computer. Within settings, under general, if we scroll down, you'll see a new option for local capture. Local capture now allows you to save the location or just save audio only. It says add local capture to control center to record your own audio and video during a call to save and edit later. We had the control center option before, but now we can actually specify where it saves. If we go to my next page here, you'll see we have an all new Apple TV icon. They've updated it and added some color. And if we go into it, Apple has recently rebranded Apple TV Plus to Apple TV. However, they haven't changed it throughout the app just yet. Also in this update, they continue to update liquid glass. The dock is more transparent and you'll see slight changes throughout with highlights around icons that may be a little bit more than you would expect, but Apple continues to tweak this and change it throughout the update. There's also two things to mention as far as bugs. One is a bug fix, so now you can add shortcuts directly into the control center and they work properly. You can select a shortcut and you'll see I have one here called App Settings. This is a great one, I'll link in the description, but if you go into an application, tap the App Settings shortcut, it brings you right to the settings page for that application. Apple also fixed a bug earlier on if you went into Music, you tap on Lossless and go to Audio Quality Settings, Prior to this, just a couple days ago, they must have fixed this in the background. It would actually crash the music app. Now it's working properly. I would expect another beta as soon as early next week with maybe it releasing to the public sometime early next month. And for even more details, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe.